Yosemite National Park is known for its beautiful tall waterfalls from powerful glaciers, scenic valleys, massive granite monolith cliffs, 2,000-year-old giant sequoia trees, vast wilderness areas, grand meadows, and quiet lakes. Welcome to Wind Sound Planet. My name is Satish Nandakumar and you're watching my travel video log to Yosemite. If you are outside United States and would like to get to Yosemite, you can first reach San Francisco International Airport SFO in California and then take a connecting flight to Fresno, which is the nearest airport to Yosemite. We reached SFO and took a rental car with Hertz and drove all the way to Big Trees Lodge, the Wawana Hotel in Yosemite National Park. Wawona has a beautiful lush green garden with alluring red sequoia trees and ivory colored structures. Wawona is a pleasant place to stay and the hotel dining room serves excellent food with great ambience. In the evening, wind down your fun-filled day by gathering around the piano for a musical performance in the lounge. We drove to the Mariposa Group Welcome Plaza the next morning and then took the free shuttle service to the Mariposa Group of giant sequoias. This is Yosemite's largest sequoia group with over 500 mature giant sequoias. These species of trees grow over 200 feet tall. The giant sequoias should be the largest organisms that ever lived on planet Earth. We started our adventurous, moderately difficult hike at the Mariposa Gru Trials Big Trees Loop and traveled past the fallen monarch. This large giant sequoia tree would have fallen due to weakened root systems caused by forest fires or heavy snow accumulations on the top and wet soil. There were notable trees such as the bachelors and the three graces. We met a senior forest ranger at Mariposa Grew and he mentioned that the giant sequoia's estimated lifespan is 3000 years and there is the largest giant sequoia tree called the grizzly giant, approximately 2400 years old and we were very excited to meet the grizzly giant. As per the forest ranger, the roots of giant sequoias are shallow. However, it has the potential to cover an acre. The giant sequoias begin to produce cones only after a hundred years and they remain on the tree for several years. Finally, we have reached the 2400-year-old grizzly giant. It stands 210 feet tall and has a base diameter of 30 feet. With the scar, it looked like a giant grizzly bear with huge claws. I was surprised to know that they began their lives from the ashes of a natural forest fire. The heat of the forest fire will cause giant sequoia cones to explode, scattering thousands of seeds on the ground. Later, the forest is covered with young sequoia trees after a few years. Sequoia seedlings emerge from the ashes of a forest fire and live for centuries before maturing into massive trees. Only a few survive to become 
the forest future giants. The Native American tribes who lived in these forests were aware of these naturally occurring forest fires and permitted them to burn for thousands of years. However, following colonization, the local people put out forest fires, resulting in a drop in the number of young sequoias each year. Fire suppression has resulted in a buildup of fuel, which impedes the growth of young sequoias and cause more destruction through forest fires when they occur. The red-colored enzyme found in giant sequoia bark and cones called tannin or natural fire retardant that protects the sequoias from the forest fires. A tunnel was cut through the wide California tunnel tree for the carts to pass through. Allow two hours to complete the entire two-mile loop round trip from trailhead, which travels along the grooves edges. We took the free shuttle back to the Mariposa Grove Welcome Plaza and continued on State Highway 41 to the Tunnel View Scenic Overlook. We were awestruck by the beautiful Yosemite from the tunnel view just outside the Wawona Tunnel. We saw beautiful forests, rocks on the sides, and incredible waterfalls. As part of our itinerary, we were able to see all the iconic places we wanted to see from the tunnel view. Yosemite Valley, El Capitan, Bridalvale Falls, and Half Dome. This is a stunning view and it's best to visit early in the morning or late in the evening before sun sets to enjoy it. Early spring is the best time to visit this location as the Bridal Vale Falls is in full bloom. We continued on our way to Yosemite Valley. Bridal Vale Falls is the first waterfall that we were able to see as we entered Yosemite Valley. It was quite unique as it created mist when the breeze blew. The mist resembles a bridal veil suspended from the top of the falls. The falls spray a long distance during the spring melt. So we need a windshield wiper on to see the scenic beauty. However, there was little water flow when we arrived. As we continue our journey in the valley from the Mercy River Meadow, a great granite giant rises up. This magnificent wonder is known as the El Capitan. This extraordinary rock formation rises 3,000 feet above the valley floor. The Native Americans, Awanichi, who lived in these areas, referred this giant as the great rock chief in their native language. The giant granite structure is extremely dangerous and nearly impossible to climb. Rock climbers from all over the world visit El Capitan during spring to fall to experience the thrill of the vertical climb. At night, you can see climbers' headlamps illuminating or preparing their food on El Capitan, giving you a different perspective. If you enjoy stargazing, this is one of the best places to see the stars. On a full moon day, the rocks are set to glow in the Yosemite Valley. I would like to share an Awanichi world traditional story that I learned at Yosemite. The actual name given to this giant rock by the Awanichi native Indian tribe is Tutokanula. According to Awanichi legend, two bear cubs slept on a large flat rock 
near the Mercy Drewers River Bank. And the rock grew until the bears scratched their faces against the moon. All the animals in the forest tried to help the mother bear save her cubs. But none succeeded until an inchworm, Tuto Kanula, crawled slowly to the top and led the cubs safely down. This mythical story teaches young native Indian tribe that everyone is unique and has abilities that no one else has. Once you reach the Yosemite Valley Visitor Center, there are a lot of restaurants that you could try. Enjoy your food at Yosemite Village, Village Grill Restaurant, or the Mountain Room Restaurant at Yosemite Valley Lodge, Pizza Deck or Mido Grill at Curry Village, Another fantastic restaurant in Yosemite Village is Deegan's Loft. Awani Dining Room is an upper-class restaurant in Yosemite Village. You could also spend the night at the Yosemite Valley Lodge, the majestic Yosemite Hotel, Housekeeping Camp, Half Dome Village, or the Movena Hotel. You must plan your trip well ahead and book all the hotels online in advance because the rooms fill up very quickly. The next day morning, we set out for the Yosemite Falls. The Mercy River, which runs through the meadow at the base of the El Capitan,
backpackers who want to camp in Little Yosemite Valley should request a half dome permit along with their wilderness permit. A wilderness permit is required year around for backpacking, overnight climbing, or any other overnight stay in Yosemite wilderness. Our next destination is Olmsted Point. It is a must-see attraction in Yosemite Valley. This provides an amazing view of the valley. Visitors can picnic and walk on the flat rock surfaces at this location. Rocks may not be the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about tourism, but in Yosemite Park, they take on a whole new meaning. We continued on our journey through the Tioga Road, which connects to the Tioga Pass. Tioga Pass is a picturesque 47 mile drive through forests, meadows, lakes, and granite domes. Don't miss the stunning views of the Tania Lake, which is surrounded by alpine growth. It is now a popular tourist destination after millions of dollars were spent to clean it up. It is a glacier formed lake where you can fish if you have a California fishing license. As I entered the Ptolemy Meadows area, everything I have been looking at is now at eye level or slightly higher for some of the larger summits. There is wildlife such as elk herd grazing across the lush green grassy area. The park ranger mentioned that the wildflower season in the meadows is very short, but they do produce some rarest purple flowers. Just like the Tuto Canula, one man's thoughts and action were instrumental in the preservation of the Yosemite Valley, Grand Canyon, and Sequoia Forest. His writings have inspired the preservation of many other wilderness areas around the world. His name is John Muir, also referred to as the father of national parks. One of his famous quote is, climb the mountains and listen to what they have to say. Nature's peace will flow into you just like the sunshine that flows into the trees. My name is Satish Sangakumar. Thank you for watching and please consider sharing this video with your friends and families. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.